When it comes to recreating the theatrical experience in your home, the Laserdisc is about as close as you're going to get. For over a decade now, filmmakers and film fans have embraced this format, but only in the last couple of years has it really started to take off. There's no question the Laserdisc is becoming more popular, especially with movie buffs. People who really love movies and like watching them at home uh, are discovering on a daily or weekly basis that this is the best way to watch a movie at home. At the moment, we've probably got a catalog. Well, in this store, we carry a catalog of over 8,000 titles. That's increasing weekly. Probably end up getting about 50 new titles every week. Well, this is a laser disc for any of you who've never seen them. It has both picture and sound on it, similar to a CD, except that it has a picture aspect as well. What makes it different and more unique is that it, the uh, soundtrack is both digital and analog. It has both tracks laid in at the same time. And it is also considered to be probably the best single viewing uh, medium that's out there today. I put a lot of information into the frame. And often on television, when our wide screen Panavision movies are panned and scanned, you're only seeing half a movie. Pan and scan is a process by which an editor frames the scene so it will fit on television. And letterboxing uh, shows you the original film as it was seen in the theaters, as, as it was intended to be seen. Perkus, I did it. You've got it. One of the great things about watching a movie on Laserdisc is the fact that in a lot of cases, the major scenes in the film are broken down into chapters. They call that chapter indexing. In the case of Terminator, you've got almost 70 different chapters. And if you're in a major scene, like, uh, for example, the biker bar, and you've seen this a couple of times before, and you want to maybe zip ahead in the film, you can zip right down to, say, the canal chase scene. You just type 19 into remote control, hit a button, you're there almost instantly. Most people don't know that VHS is 260 lines, broadcast is 340, and Laserdisc is 450, so that there's an enormous leap in quality. Listen, sweetheart, I want you to tell Mommy something for me. Will you remember? Yeah. Well, tell Mommy that I telephoned, okay? Yeah. And that I'll try to telephone again tomorrow. Now, will you tell her that? Well, supplementary material is really the thing that brings people closer to that whole Hollywood experience. It's what makes... set that just came out they have about a dozen different posters that they were going to use but never did and you can really see how the theatrical campaign built up from where it started until where it finished and you get a chance to watch the infamous cocoon scene that was never shown in the theaters but people have heard about and talked about for a long time it's there in its entirety i'll get you out of here i'll get you off to the shuttle <laughs> In the case of Close Encounters, you've got a really interesting situation because you have a split screen. It's split up into three pieces. On the top half, you've got the movie, and then you also get a chance to listen to the director talking about the film. You also get a chance to listen to the producer talk about the film, and it gives you two, and all on different audio channels. And all of the serious mothership development occurred after we photographed the live action in Mobile, Alabama. If the, if the, if the conical, uh, the living quarters of the mothership would look like a city from the air. One of the great supplementary features is an opportunity to see behind the scenes. In this case, you get to follow the uh, cast and the crew when they were actually filming. You get to watch a little bit behind the effect from still photography. You notice that in, in a lot of these stills, they're some pretty candid shots. So the director's probably pulling from his own archives when he, when he puts this stuff together. There's just so much more stuff that uh, you can get on a laser disc than you can on a, on a VHS tape. Uh, mainly what we hope to see is more and more titles.
more and more restorations done. Um, and that'll attract more and more consumers to the medium itself. Warner Brothers is very committed to lasers. Uh, we've been in the business for three years now and we've seen significant growth in each of those years. We will continue to bring out uh, all kinds of titles from uh, Warner Brothers and from MGM for the foreseeable future. We see it as the technology of the future. I wish more people did use laser discs because anyone who loves movies wants everyone to see them as well as, as they can be seen. That's the whole thing about Laserdisc. It brings you closer to Hollywood. It gives you that feeling like you're taking a piece of it home with you.